got my cup of coffee here. Gonna grab this chair, go sit out on the dock and enjoy the morning while I sip my coffee. And uh, looks like a beautiful day, but we got some haze over off yonder there, and I think it's probably gonna rain later on today. Kind of feels that way. Oh, well, that reminds me. I need to give the give the mayor a call. Yes, hello. Is this uh, Mayor Maguzalem? Well, good morning, sir. How are you today? Good, good. Glad to hear it. Say, Mayor, um, I was up uh, around the uh, the iron mine um, yesterday evening after I finished my login, just kind of looking around, and I noticed that uh, there doesn't seem to be any any smelter around. Um, you know, so how how are the, how's the iron getting smelted? Oh, so so you're saying that that storm that ruined the roller coaster also screwed up the uh, the smelter too? Pretty much destroyed it, eh? Well, that's terrible. So, well, I'll tell you what. Then I'll make you an offer. Um, how about if I purchase the uh, the iron mine or at least the land that it's on, and uh, along with the, that front loader and that dump truck that's up there, and then I'll put in a a new furnace so we can get that iron smelted and, and start making metal uh you know for restoring uh, the roller coaster and whatnot does that sound like a pretty good deal fine fine okay sounds good so i'll meet you in town and uh, we'll drop the papers and and get going on that very good oh hey mr mayor i wanted to ask you one other thing i noticed that the train that goes out of town here uh goes to elm creek and i was just curious uh you know elm creek is like uh three quarters of the way across the country almost to the east coast and we're up here in the pacific northwest here in the cascade mountains so i uh, was just curious why does that train uh only go to elm creek that just seems odd to me you you're, you're saying because that's the way the giants wants it mr mayor are you are you telling me there's giants around here oh no not them kind of giants you're talking about the developer i Mr. Mayor, I'll be honest with you. I, I'm not quite sure what that even means, but you know what? That's okay. We're, we're in a dream anyways, and strange things happen in dreams, so I'm just going to accept it. <laughs> okay, sounds good. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's fun. All right, you guys, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on uh, Silver Run Forest. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to... Um, we're going to change things up a little bit from, um, what I was talking about doing in the last episode. Um, as you can see, I have a clear cut here. Let's just get into the build mode just so we can kind of see things from, uh, an eagle eyes view. So I've clear cut all of this land here and, um, we still have quite a bit of land. My, my property actually goes all the way up to the edge of this lake. And, you know, then kind of cuts across this way and in somewhere down in here. So we still got a decent amount of timber left, uh, which we are going to harvest. Once uh, I harvest all the timber on the land, uh, then what I'm going to do, just to kind of give you guys a, a bit of a, a notion of what's going to happen next, uh, we'll get all the stumps removed. I'd like to clear out uh, most of this brush, too. We might not get rid of all of it, but, but I'd like to get rid of uh, a lot of it. And we're going to build an access road, uh, kind of, you know, that kind of goes back up into here, too. We'll use a forestry mulcher for that. And then I'll replant. Um, and then while we're waiting the, I guess it takes three in-game years for trees to fully mature, you know, we'll purchase an, another set of property and, and just kind of keep doing the same thing, you know, logging it and then replanting it, you know, using trees as a renewable resource. Uh, so that's going to be cool. Okay, so anyway... Uh, as you heard from my conversation with the mayor on the phone, uh, we had we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna purchase the property. I can't actually buy the iron mine directly, but I can buy the property that it's on. Let's take a look at that. Um, and it do it doesn't matter because I mean I get free access to the iron mine regardless. The only thing is is I don't think I can I can't supply it with or it just kind of automatically does that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna purchase the the land well see, oh yeah see it doesn't even actually let me purchase the land that the mine itself is on but the plan is that over here in this area there's like a little flat spot and i think we'll we'll have enough room to put up the uh the the furnace uh the foundry you know to to smelt the ore uh and like i said to the mayor on the phone if you guys didn't already know this 
there is actually an old front loader and an old dump truck up there, uh, which like, uh, you know, with the forklift, we are free to use. So they're for all intents and purposes belong to us. Um, so that is the plan. Uh, we need to do this anyways, but also once we get that foundry up and running and start making steel, that, uh, that's, we'll make a lot of money. I mean, probably maybe even more money than we can from logging. Um, so it's a very lucrative thing to do. Plus we have to do it in order to rebuild uh, the roller coaster and get into the boat business later on and all those other things. It's just kind of part of, you know, how the game works. Okay. So this land is not cheap. Um, I'm assuming that they, they made it expensive like that because you essentially get the iron mine. It's not very good for logging because this is on a mountain here. So this terrain is really steep. The main reason I'm going to spend the money on it now is so that I can put the foundry right next to um, the mine and not have to, you know, put it somewhere else and then have, have to haul it up and down these hills and things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase this. Um, incidentally, there is nothing new in the sale. Well, I think that this combine's new, but we're not really interested in that. So the, the sale is pretty much still the same as it was in August. The other thing too, just so you know, is that uh, even though I set the game up for two days per month, that doesn't actually take effect until the following month. So when I slept, uh, we actually went into September. So what I did was I changed, before I did that, I changed to three days um, because I don't want... I don't want to get into winter too quickly. We are in the Pacific Northwest, ladies and gentlemen, and up in the mountains to boot. And when it's, it's, this isn't like Elm Creek. When winter sets in, we're going to have a lot of snow. We're going to have it. It's going to get deep. We're going to have it for a long time. We're going to have to mess with it. And I'm not, you know, I, I want more time before the snow comes for us to really get set up and, and get going. So uh, we are back to three days per month, at least for the time being. Okay. So let me, let me think, what do we want to do next? Uh, we need to get that, that forge put in next. So let's hop in uh, my truck and the forklift is down at the shop waiting for us to do more containers, but we're going to put that on hold, uh, at least until we get this iron thing set up. So let's jump in the John Deere here and we are going to drive to, uh, the iron mine and I'll show that to you. And we're also going to get the front loader. You know what? I think I'm going to take an Uber because we're, because I want to drive the front loader back. So yeah, we're just going to call an Uber uh, to come up here and take us over there. So uh, we'll just establish something right from the get go. Whenever I fast travel, um, unless, okay, let me put it this way. If I need to get somewhere else and I'm, and I'm not working with the AI, then I, I'm going to pay for fast travel and we're just going to say it's Uber. And each time we do it, it's just going to cost us 20 bucks. If, however, I'm working with the AI and we're doing auto drive and we're hauling stuff, in that case, um, I just teleport because in the real world, you'd be able to communicate, you know, with drivers like over a cell phone or whatever. And it doesn't work that way in the game. I have to physically go to them a lot of times to manage them. So I just teleport. But if I, if it's just from, you know, trying to get from point A to point B and we're not like harvesting something or hauling stuff to market, then I'll, I'll pay for it via Uber. Okay. Um, that's just the way we're going to do it. Okay. So we're going to remove 20 bucks, um, out of the wallet for that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select the mine shaft and we're just going to teleport there. And here we are. Okay. That was the fastest Uber drive ever. All right. So the cool thing now is that. This front loader is, we, we basically get this front loader. It, we don't technically own it, but we do own it because we can use it. And, and so what we're going to do with this front loader besides load iron is I can also attach the, a, a grapple to it and we can use it to load locks. Okay. And then of course we have the dump truck too, that we'll use to haul stuff. And it looks like the iron mine, in addition to that comes with a, a rock crusher too. So what I want to do is. Well, let's take a look at the mine first. I, I haven't actually looked very closely at this place. It's really cool. So this thing pretty much perpetually just spits out iron ore. It piles up on the ground and we can come and take it and and uh, haul it to the smelter. And we don't have to do anything. We, there's no input for the mine. It's just pulling it out of the ground. So I guess we have to assume, you know, there are miners that are working on it and that's just the way the giants set it up. So yeah, uh, really cool. We got some machinery in here. Pretty cool, man. Very neat. 
Um, and then if you go here, let's actually go up here because, oh, can I not get up here? Yeah, I can get up here. We might actually find a carving while we're looking around. Very neat. I love it. I love it. There's a nice little waterfall. Uh, oh, look at that. There's a like a fire lookout tower up there. We should run up there. I wonder if there's a carving on that. Uh, let's go all the way up here. Yeah, are those wind chimes? Yeah, <laughs> there's wind chimes there. Can we do anything? I'm pressing a button to see if I can get them to tinkle. Oh, look at this. This is neat. Big old pulley. Okay, cool. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't, uh, I was actually going to show you guys. I, I just filmed the money that I made from the last two loads, uh, container loads that I did off camera. Um, here's the footage from that. All right, yeah, so uh, we made pretty decent money off that. Uh, now I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get down from this place. Uh, no. All right, let's 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 hop on back down. Hopefully we can get down without breaking our neck. It is very awkward, though, walking around on this because you get caught up on the rails. Okay, cool. So can we probably can't go in here, can we? No. Listen to that industry going on in there. Very cool. Okay, we can't look over on the top of that. Okay, let's go look around in here. Wow, look at that. Is that... Whoa, can we go down in here? No, I, I, you, can't, you can't dive into the water, at least not that I can tell. That's neat, though. Really cool. Just gorgeous. All right, let's see if we can get up to that. Oh, there's a, a pathway here. All right. Yeah, let's go up to that tower and take a look-see and see if we can. Man, what a view. Uh, see if we can find another carving. I'll bet you this must be lit up at night. It's kind of neat, man. Go look off over this way for a sec. Oh, we're like right at the very border of the map here. Okay. Maybe sometime we'll come back here at night just to see if this is all lit up. I'll bet it is. It probably looks really cool. Uh, but let's head up here. This seems like a place we could potentially find a carving. Nothing right there. Let's look around the outside first, and then we'll go look on the inside. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Nothing. Bummer. Nice table and chairs, though. Look at that. Very cool. And a little squat trash can. All right. I like it. Okay, so um, there's one other area I want to... Oh! There's a carving. It's right there. Look at that. This looks like a coyote or a wolf or something. I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Nice. That's another 50000 bucks for us, folks. You found the wolf sculpture. Hot darn. Just 17 more to go. All right. Fantastic. I was kind of expecting maybe that it would be up in the thing, but it was just on the edge of the cliff. Look at the waterfall. This is so cool. Okay, be careful. <laughs> I don't want to go tumbling off the cliff there. Uh, can we go down the mountainside over here? Uh, we can get to this point. Yeah, we got this. Okay, so... Um, 
Next order of business here is that uh, I want to see if we can get the smelt smelting building uh, set up over in this area because because we own this property too and it's nice and flat right here. See this this actually wouldn't be a bad place for a landing either. Now that I think about it though, but it's not we're not going to use it for that purpose because uh, we need it for the mine uh, for, or for the foundry to be more precise. So um, let's get over here. And we're going to go into the build menu. And actually, hold on. Let me save first. You know how that goes in case we screw something up. Okay, so we can't build around the mine itself because uh, we don't technically own it. We own the property all around it. And, and I wouldn't have done that, again, except for the fact that I wanted to see if we could put the, the foundry up here. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is, well, let's let's look at the foundry uh, production, and it's this building right here. Okay, so we can definitely put it over there, which is good. Uh, but we're gonna, I'm gonna want it to go this way because where you guys see that uh, conveyor, that's where we dump the ore off. And then on the on the left hand side, I think is where it will, um, uh, where we pick up the the steel. So. I just want to take all of that into account when we set this in place so we have room. See that that post right there? We don't want that in the way uh, when we're delivering. So that's as far back as we can go. But if we come forward this way a little bit, I think that'll probably be good. Okay. Now, um, let's do a little bit of landscaping here. I don't think we need to really worry about leveling anything. I wish that post wasn't there. Um, yeah, I can't. Well, can I click demolish and get rid of it? No, didn't think so. That'll, that'll still give us enough room. So what we can do is we can pull down, you know, come out here and just pull around here, dump off, and then come back up around this way. I, I don't think that'll be a problem. So uh, let's do this. Let's get the leveling tool. And, yeah, we'll use the circle. We'll bring it up a little bit, and then... I want to, I just want to kind of level this part here. Oops. We need enough room to get in here. Oh, you know what? Something just occurred to me. We got to get in here with a forklift to get that product out of there. So I wonder if I should move this over to the right a little more. We don't really need to go back this way. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's... Oh, I'm going to get all of my money back? Except for a little bit of landscaping money. Okay. That's good. Let's redo this then. The, the other plan would have been for me just to reload, but... Yeah, we need we actually need room to get back here um, on the left to get the pallets. So I think I want to swing this over this way more. Maybe put it right here. Okay. Um, all right. 
and then let's go to landscaping and painting and just get the forest ground well no actually let's let's do gravel here so i think that will be appropriate Got a little smaller. And I think this will be the road kind of going down in to it from this side. And then coming back out. Uh, I think. So the, the best scenario is pull down here. Uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll smooth that out. Come through here dump the ore, and then pull back out this way. So that does present a bit of a challenge with what's going on over here now. So I think what we want to try and do is go to sculpting. And we're going to want to... Um, raise this up a little bit so we kind of make a, a bit of a ramp coming back off of here. This might be a little tricky to get fixed, but... Okay, and then if we go to level, okay, let's put bring this out some more too. All right, that's not too bad. I think we'll remove this tree. Uh, I think we need to raise that up a little more too, though. Okay, now let's smooth. Maybe raise a little bit here. So it's a more more of a gradual uh, ramp going down. Okay, let's drive that and try it. Well, we also need to do something similar over here. So again, we'll raise the ground up. and make a ramp coming down into here. Okay, now let's smooth. It's a little bit of a bump there and a little bit of a dip right here. All right, let's try that. <clears throat> For starters, it's the dump truck that's going to be driving it anyway. Um, we are in low, so let's switch to high. There we go. 
Looks like fifth gear is as high as it goes. Okay, so we basically drive down here with a load of ore. Come around here. Dump it. And then drive down here and back around to go back up. The other thing we could do too, since this thing is has a little bit of trouble on the hills here. Oh, right. I can't go past fifth gear. We could also come down and back in this way. But, see in the future, oh, let's put it in reverse here. In the future, we're going to have, you know, probably have a much larger dump truck or tipper or something. So, I'm not building this just for this truck. So it takes a little bit longer to back in and dump, but then, you know, we're not climbing a big hill to get back up. So I think that works out pretty good. Man, it's a good thing we found that carving because I'm down to 38,000 bucks. We would have been in the hole otherwise. Okay, so let's go ahead and load up the dump truck and take a load of ore down and get our production started. And this uh, this thing is going to pay for itself very quickly, you'll see. <laughs> um, you will see. Whoops. Right, this machine's an automatic. Let's get some lights on here. Oh wow, that didn't take long to uh, fill the bucket. It's just almost an instant fill there. Wonder how many buckets it takes to fill the dump truck. I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Let's try this from first person here. Oh, okay, I'm not used to the turning of the machine here. Okay, how close do I need to get to it? Maybe a little closer. There we go. Okay. This is fun. This reminds me a little bit of um, Gold Rush. Using the front loader and loading up the dump truck in Gold Rush. I think we wanted to be right about here. I like the sound of the of the machine from inside the cab. It sounds really cool. Okay, it's getting full. I I lost track of how many buckets we've done. That was probably what the fourth or fifth one. So basically what we're going to want to do now every single day moving forward is come up here and load up all the ore and send it over to the um, the smelter. And if we do it every day, you know, we'll have a constant supply going and it shouldn't ever get so large that it'll take forever to do. There's no way that I'm aware of that you can distribute the ore to the plant. We have to haul it there ourselves. 
and I don't think there's a way to automate this with, you know, like auto drive either as far as I know. I'm not sure how you would do that. You don't have access to this land. What the heck's that supposed to mean? Does that mean the dump truck's full? That's kind of a strange message for a full dump truck. Let's just... I think that's probably what it's telling me, but let's, um... Let's just see. Yeah, okay. So... <laughs> kind of a weird message, but that's basically, hey, yo, the dump truck's full. Message. Alright, you guys, so what I'm gonna do is... I am going to completely load up the uh, the foundry there, uh, or at least keep doing it until we run out of ore. And when that's finished, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the dump truck here, or I'm sorry, not the dump truck, we're going to take the front loader back to our property, get a grapple, and use it to, uh, to log with. Actually, nah, we probably better get a flatbed, uh, get the low boy and bring that up here instead because it'll probably take me a long time to drive that front loader to our property. We got, we're all the way on the other side of the map. Yeah, so I'll probably bring the low boy up here and just load it up. Um, and until we get to the point where we can afford t two loaders, I'm just going to have to drive it back and forth each, each morning. But we can do that. That's part of the fun of the game. Okay. Look at that, man. How fun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go into the productions menu. This is our very first production here on Silver Run Forest. And we want to activate. And you just put the ore in and the metal comes out. So 416 ore for 380 um, metal. It's going to cost us um, 120 bucks a month, and there's 24 cycles in the month. Cool. Okay, let's get this thing loaded up. All right, guys, we got uh, the rest of the ore. I don't know if this is going to completely fill up the foundry, but uh, it'll definitely put quite a bit in there. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put the bucket over. Actually, it might be better if I put it in this direction. Uh, there we go. Okay, so... Let's just park you there for the moment. Get this last load over there. Something occurred to me that... If we're going to need to be hauling the front loader back and forth, and also we're going to need to start hauling the steel too, we we should probably get that other low loader that's on sale because if, if I have my current low loader loaded up with containers, I'm not going to want to have to take those back. And since this is still on sale, uh, let's just buy it now. Uh, the one we have is black. Why don't we make this one yellow? Maybe JCB yellow? Challenger yellow. Yeah, that's good. Um, that way we have the black one and the yellow one. Okay. Um, and we're going to... Yeah, we'll get the spare wheel. Why not? Okay, so let's buy this. I'd like to get this tractor too, but that's just not practical for us right now. It's it's a nice, very powerful tractor, but one problem with it is it doesn't have a front hitch. So it limits limits it its usefulness to us from that standpoint. 
cool. Um, all right, let's let's actually take a quick look around here. We didn't really looked at the place. Uh, I don't think we can go inside, but oh, that is neat, man. I love the sounds. Very cool. Um, we can go over here and look in the windows. I don't think we can go in here, can we? No. Right, let me turn my light off. Well, if I have it on, we got the glare. If I have it off, we can't see. But yeah, there's the big furnace right inside of there. Super cool. Okay, so yeah, we... Uh, yeah, open production menu. So we filled it up about 75, 80%, so that's not bad. And um, this is going to start turning into some nice cash for us. Reed and Sons. Awesome. Okay. I like it. Um, also, there is another part of the mine I wanted to show you guys, too. And go take a quick look and see if we can find another carving, because it seems like the kind of place that a carving might exist. So if we just go down over this way, we can actually, you know, see into the mine itself. Um, actually, did we go down too far? Yeah, I think we went down too far. Okay, let's go back up this way. I, th I think we did, anyway. Yeah, we want to go around here. So there's some more uh, structures over this way. Oh, this is cool. There's like picnic tables and stuff. And some ore carts. I love it, man. Huh. I wonder why it stops right there, though. Here's some, some tracks that go way down that way. This is just the coolest map, man. So nice. And this is the actual mine here. So I don't think we're supposed to... Oh, well, I guess we can jump over that. Look at that old machine. <laughs> this is just cool, man. I love this stuff. Oh, look at that. A bear. All right. Another 50 grand. You found the bear sculpture. Just 16 more to go. Hot darn. 50,000 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. 50,000 bucks. I did not know that was in there. But I kind of suspected this is the kind of place that something like that might be hiding, right? Can we get down inside of here? Oh, uh, we might not be able to get back out if we did. That's neat looking though. Okay, cool. So that that was uh very handy because we need that money for sure. Uh, let's go down here really quick and take a quick look. If we can get down there without breaking our leg. So there's more picnic tables down here. And more ore carts. It's almost like it's a uh, a museum or something. All right, where does this track go to? Oh, okay. So this just goes back up to the mine, the main mine. And wait, does it? No. Okay. So those tracks just make a circle and come back around. What For what purpose, though? I don't know. I do not know the answer to that question, but it's really neat. Definitely uh, lucrative to do a little bit of exploring. Well, especially when you know there's carvings worth $50,000 a pop on the map, right? <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Oh, sorry. We need to... We need to get our truck up here and that low boy so we can load the front loader and take it down uh, back to our land. And I'm going to set up an auto drive course for that too. So that way we can, in the future, have the AI do, you know, uh, those runs for us so we don't have to do it every time. So let me get the dump truck uh, back up and in position for the next time we do some loading. Could probably stand to 
level that up a little bit more too. And then we will um, get back. Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get the grappling for the front loader, and then we're gonna get back to doing some logging. Yes, indeed. We'll come over here tomorrow, um, or maybe at the end of the month. We'll see and get our first load of iron. So the plan for that is we'll deliver it to the roller coaster first and get that taken care of, and then whatever's left is ours to sell, uh, which will be pretty nice. So I think I'm just going to park the dump truck here. I can't really think of a, a good reason why we need this back uh, on our at our logging camp. Uh, the only thing I could do is put like the scrap pieces of wood in it, but there's no way to strap that wood down. So and, and I'm, so I'm just going to leave it up here. I think that makes the most sense. Okay, how fast does this thing actually drive? I don't think it's it goes very fast, but let's just see what its top speed is. Oh, 16 miles an hour. Um Yeah, you know what? For for the first for the first time, I'm I'm going to drive it. I'll just drive this. Cuz otherwise I'm going to have to Uber back to the truck and then drive the truck all the way back up here and then turn around and drive it all the way back down again. Well, you know what, though? If we're going to set up an auto-drive course, i got to do that anyway. And it's better to do the auto-drive course in the truck. So, yeah, let's just do that. Alright, we'll give Uber a call and have them come and get us. And we are going to go to the store, because that's where our truck currently is. And our new trailer as well. Okay, so let me think about this for a second. I'm going to leave. This is going to continue to be our container trailer for now. Um, so let's jump in the truck. And I'm going to back this up a little bit so it's not in the way. Fifty bucks to repair it. That's not so bad. Oh no, that was our truck. It's seven forty-nine. Okay, <laughs> I did that last time too, didn't I? Okay, so now uh, we got to go get the low loader and bring it to the camp. I'd like to bring the grapple with us too. So I wonder if we could get the forklift. Uh, and put the grapple on the trailer. I don't see why not. We should be able to do that. Uh, wheel loader tools. <coughs> so this is a mod, um, but it's it's an enormous grapple, and it works really well because I use it on uh, the multiplayer server. We're just going to buy this outright because we're probably going to get lots of use out of it. Okay, so let's grab you. So the plan here is we just drive the front loader up onto the low boy and hook right up to the grapple and we're good to go. Did I hook up the lines? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, all right. Hold on. Let me look at the map here and determine our best route. We don't. We don't necessarily. We don't really need an auto drive course from the mine to the store. Well, actually, we, that would probably be coming handy too. But I think what we're going to want to do is use this highway here. Oh yeah, but this highway goes all the way up here, but there's, that's probably a mountainous road there. So maybe we go here and then we get off on this logging road and go up this way to get up to the mine. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably what we need to do. Okay. Okay, so... I would like to do a pathway up there from this side, but we're not going to do that yet. In fact, 
let's just keep driving for the moment. Uh, we want to go up this highway here. Nice stop there. Disappear, you moron. That's the best mod ever. <laughs> Get rid of these stupid drivers, man. Yeah, there's a lot of weirdness going on here for lane changing, I reckon. Here, we need a lower gear because we're going uphill. I don't think I've been on this highway yet. What the heck's wrong with all these cars, man? They keep honking at me. I'm not even in their way. They're the ones that don't stop at the stop sign. Okay, let's stop here for a minute. i got to consult the map again. Um, yeah, we've got to... No, we keep going until we get to here. It's interesting that there's no route directly over that way. That's probably just because of the terrain. Yeah, let's bring this map up. Okay, everybody keep your eyes open for more carvings. Oh wow, look at this bridge. That's cool. It's a high bridge. Oh, there's a carving right there. I just saw it. It's just sitting right here. <laughs> what is that, a sheep? You found the sheep sculpture. Just 15 more to go. Hot darn. Now we're up to $98,000 again. Me likey. <laughs> I just looked over there because, you know, those deer were off on the side of the road, and I was thinking, oh, those deer kind of look like carving, and then I saw that, and I'm going, hey, that looks like an actual carving, and sure enough, it was. Okay, um, back to this. So, yeah, we need to keep going down the main highway for a little bit longer. So what have we found, like three carvings in this episode? Another really high bridge here. Okay, so we are going to turn left up here. So this is where we need to start recording. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make this a two-way because it's just going to be better that way. Um, so let's start recording here. And we want to come off of here to here. And we also want to come off of here to here to go back the other way. So this will come this way, that will go that way. And I'm not. I'm not worried about what else is up that road at this point. Okay, so we should be good. So we come down this logging road here. Okay, I think we're going to cross over on this bridge. Uh, no, we don't need to cross on this bridge. We just keep going up this way, and we want to stay left at the fork. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's what we want to do. Of course, you know what, though? If we got to here, we'd get back on the highway. Not that, I don't think that matters. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep staying on this route here. Man, I, this auto drive is just amazing. 
so nice to have. And you know, when you're playing norm, normal farming simulator and your farm gets bigger and bigger, it becomes more and more useful. Okay, so let's stop here and consult the map again. We want to go straight and then turn right to get up to the mine. Okay. We already got a two-way here. So let's stop that recording. Go across the bridge. And then I think we just turn right there. Let me look at the map one more time. Yeah, it seems like that's the better way to go there. Okay. A little bit narrow right in through here. Okay, we're gonna stop the two-way right. Let's go one more node. Actually, no, let's not. Okay, so stop the two-way. Uh, now, I need to think about this. So this is gonna be coming up to load the loader and then drop the loader back off. And also to get a load of iron. Let's worry about that later when we get our first load of iron. So I think what probably makes sense here is just to drive around the track. Let's move that. Oh, hold on a sec. Uh, delete that. Back up for a second here. Yeah, I want to keep that where it is, but I want the truck to get kind of back more over this way. And this is just a one-way. Oh, oh, no, one-way, hello. There we go, okay. So yeah, I think the truck just drives right around here. It's a little tight. But there's a track here. We could even use it to offload debris at some point if we wanted to. Okay, let's call this um, Iron Mine. And then we just reconnect it back into the two way. Very nice. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> I do that all the time. I forget to stop stop recording. You guys are going, what's he doing? Delete, 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 and delete. Okay. All right, so let's have you drive around to Iron Mine. Yeah, he's good. I think I need to tell this guy not to take the corner so darn fast, though. It's going to tip something over. Let's reduce this down to 70. Fantastic. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the ramps out. And let's temporarily turn the, this off. And we'll load up the loader. Disconnect the straps from this. Do we have to hook up lines? No, it looks like they hook up automatically. Okay. Strap it back up. Let's do one there too. Fantastic. All right, now, um, just out of curiosity, I'm not expecting this to work, but is there a route back to the logging camp? Let's just see. There is. Hey. Okay, let's follow him and see how he gets back there. Because he's figuring that one out on his own. We might need to change the target when we get back to the camp. Uh, but we'll just see what happens. bring up the big map too while we watch and just see what route he's taking. I, I'm expect, fully expecting him to take the same exact route back that we set up, but you never know. Sometimes the, they'll decide to go a different way, especially now that we have all the intersections mapped. But it doesn't look like it. It looks like he is going back the way we set up for him. Which is fine, because that is probably the most direct route anyway. Look at that view. Very neat. I think the Giants did a pretty good job of making this look like the Cascades. It doesn't really look like the mountains in western Washington, in British Columbia, and... Oregon, the Oregon coast area, because those forests are a lot wetter. Uh, they're more of a marine climate, so you have a lot more like fir and hemlock trees and moss and cedars. But 
on the eastern side of the Cascades, um, you, you'll have mountains that look more like this. They're a little drier, a lot more pine trees, a little more open. And um, so they've done a pretty good job, I think, of, of making this look like that environment. You know, for a video game anyways. I like it. Okay, so yeah, it looks like he's back on the on the same highway that we came out on, which is, was to be expected. And I just want to see... Uh, you know what I'm actually going to probably do? I'm probably going to stop him at the road going up to our property on this end. Uh, because otherwise he's going to drive all the way to the far road to get up there, which is not an efficient route to take. So we'll stop him when he gets to that point, and then we'll create a course going up that direction. Okay, so what we're going to do here, get out of here. So we're going to turn off this way, and we're going to create a two-way. Okay, so we need to come off of there and then also to there to get back on. Yeah, that's fine. And I also, while we're at it, want to set up go this way there okay so that should set that all up for us let's also just kind of Slide these over this way so they're not it's a little straighter there. Not strictly necessary, but we'll do it. Okay, now we've got to think about this. Let's go ahead and go across the bridge. Or even just hook into the bridge. So he's going to come up here. And, you know, eventually that's all going to be forested again. So we have to kind of work with the road here. Um, so if I tell him just to go... All right, let's drive over there for a second. If I just tell him to go to logging camp... Then he would drive to here and park right there. Which isn't bad, actually. We could probably work with that. Yeah, I think that'll work. But we need him to be able to turn around and go the other direction. Which we should be able to accomplish by just doing something like this. That's a really sharp turn, though, isn't it? Um... So basically, he'd be like cranking it to get around this way. You know that there's going to be trees back up in here later on too. So I'm, I'm, I need to redo that path. That was what I set up for the forklift. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go back to the bridge and pick up again where we left off. 
running over stumps here. Alright, I think we should continue to do a two-way with this. And we'll stay right in the middle of the road. Now you can actually set auto drive up to um, to back up to. Okay. Turn that off. Delete that. And tie this in with there. So that way that's just fully connected if we need it, you know, uh, in the future. Okay, so now here, he's gonna turn around, but I think what I wanna do is starting from here. All right, so connect that to there, and we're gonna get rid of all of these because again, Eventually, there's going to be trees growing there again, so we don't want the path going off into the trees. Right. Okay. Now, record. I know that's a seriously tight turn. Um, tell you what let's do, though. Let's test it and see if it actually is going to work. So I'm going to create a temporary target here. I'm going to call it test. Let's just see what happens. Okay, that's not a good sign. Yeah, I figured he might do that. He's going to go all the way down to the highway and come back, which we don't want him to do. Well, I guess on the other hand, though, if we're sending him off to, to deliver the front loader back to the mine. It's not that big of a deal if he goes that way. The more I think about it, you know. He definitely didn't want to take that turn. And I kind of don't blame him. It's a pretty sharp turn, but again, we just don't have the room up here for really wide turns. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave it the way that it is now. And I can always adjust it later if it turns out that we need to do so. All right, so let's get back this way. And I want you to go to logging camp. Our little scrap wood pile, that's not its permanent location. That's just kind of where I have it right now. Okay, now, if I need you to go back to mining camp, can you get there from here? Or iron mine, I should say. Yep, he can. Okay, let's stop him there, though, because we don't want to send him there yet. All right, I think we're in business. So, here's the deal. I'm going to wrap up this episode here, and we will... Uh, what I'm going to do is go down to I'm actually going to leave this trailer here 
take the truck down back to the store to get the other trailer with another load of containers, come back up, get that staged and ready to go, um, cut some more trees, and then when I have a nice pile of logs, I'll start the next episode and we'll use our monster grapple here uh, to load the containers. I think that's the plan, Stan. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was fun. I, I really <laughs> had a great time with this uh, platinum expansion. Just, just a joy. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.